Within an hour of a Yellowstone super eruption, pyroclastic flows could race across the countryside and engulf the valley of Jackson Hole and the town of Livingston, some 50 miles away. Within a 60-mile radius, 90% of any remaining people would be killed. A few might be blown to pieces in the initial blast. Most would suffocate in the heat of pyroclastic flows. But this would just be the beginning. Blowing across the states would be the mother of all ash clouds, an aerial mountain of deadly particles and debris. Yellowstone National Park is the site of a recurring supervolcano, an eruption so large that if it happens again, it would destroy nearly everything within 60 miles. But what would happen next as a mountain of ash begins to spread and then fall? The Yellowstone super eruption could throw ash 15 miles into the atmosphere. The fallout could cover half the United States. Three days after the eruption, the skies would be dark and deadly. From scientists' predictions, Naked Science has pieced together a picture of the country after three days of ash fall. At six times heavier than wet snow, wet ash would cause many roofs to collapse clog up filters of cars, and ground aircraft across much of the western U.S. Any planes in flight would be in danger of crashing.